In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college football games happening on November 26, 2022, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college football games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. Louisville versus Kentucky. It's rivalry week and we have two local teams facing each other from different conferences. Louisville travels the one and a half hour trip to Lexington to take on Kentucky on Saturday. The number 25 Cardinals are coming off a 25 to 10 win over NC State at home, while Kentucky fell at home to number one Georgia last week, but covered the 22 and a half points. Last season, the Wildcats crushed the Cardinals 52 to 41. Kentucky has won three straight in this rivalry. Louisville is five to one against the spread in their last six games and 1-6 to six against the spread in their last seven games against the Southeastern Conference. The under is 4-1 to one in Louisville's last five games. Kentucky is 4-1 to one against the spread in their last the 5th of November games and 9-4-1 to four to one against the spread in their last 14 games. The under is 11-1 to one in Kentucky's last 12 games. The over is 6-1 to one in these two teams' last seven head-to-head -head meetings. Kentucky is the better team in this game. They have faced a hellacious schedule in the Southeastern Conference while Louisville played just one Southeastern Conference caliber team in Clemson. They lost at Boston College and they've only played just four road games all year. Kentucky could be even better than Clemson defensively and while I'm not expecting a shootout here, the difference is at the quarterback position. If Cunningham plays, he's not going to be close to 100% with that shoulder injury. If he doesn't play, Louisville could get shut out. So the Kentucky Wildcats to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Kentucky has one of the best defenses in the country, and last week it held Georgia to 130 yards less than its season average. It will be difficult for the Cardinals to score more than 14 points against the Kentucky defense if Brock Demand starts. If Malik Cunningham gets the start, it will give the Wildcats a boost, but Cunningham hasn't played well against Kentucky in his career, and it's unclear how close to 100% he will be. On the other hand, I don't see Kentucky's mediocre offense lighting up the scoreboard. Louisville has been on a defensive tier, holding their last five opponents to 21 points or less. I'm glad this total line isn't in the 30s. This will almost be like an Iowa-Wisconsin game. Kentucky should play in the Big Ten because they have a lot of those qualities in terms of defense and running the football. Louisville has gone under in three straight, while Kentucky has gone under in seven straight. Louisville's improved defense is the key to this being a low-scoring affair, which has struggled in recent years in these blowout games. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Minnesota versus Wisconsin. The Minnesota Golden Gophers have been an excellent program this season as they are 7-4 so far and are coming off of a 13-10 home loss against the Iowa Hawkeyes. Senior quarterback Tanner Morgan missed the game with an upper body injury and is questionable for this upcoming game. The Wisconsin Badgers have been doing well this season heading into Saturday afternoon at Camp Randall Stadium as they are 6-5 right now and are coming off a 15-14 road loss last Saturday on the road against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. Junior quarterback Graham Mertz did not do well as he finished just 8 of 1 8 for 83 yards with a touchdown and an interception. The Golden Gophers are 14 to 6 to 1 against the spread in their last 21 road games and 2 to 5 against the spread in their last 7 games overall. The Badgers are 1 to 4 against the spread in their last 5 games in November and 3 to 7 against the spread in their last 10 conference games. The under is 4 to 0 in Golden Gophers last 4 games overall. The under is 4 to 0 in Badgers last 4 games in November. The Golden Gophers are 3-0-1 against the spread in their last four meetings in Wisconsin. The road team is 6-1-1 against the spread in their last eight meetings. These offenses as of late are very similar as Minnesota is averaging 20 points in their last three games while Wisconsin is scoring 21 points in their previous four games as well. Minnesota has arguably the most impactful running back in Ibrahim while Allen is coming into this game with an injury tag designation. The injury bug has bitten the Minnesota Golden Gophers while the Wisconsin Badgers are healthy for most of the program. This game is going to be extremely close and we have a lot of options in a 
one possession game and get the hook here as well. The Golden Gophers are 3-0 to 1 against the spread in his last four road games against Wisconsin. So the Minnesota Golden Gophers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Both programs have been absolutely dominant in their last few games as Minnesota is allowing 7 points in their previous 4 games while Wisconsin is giving up 16 points in their last 3 games. Both programs love to run the football and built their programs to do just that and that means they are going to chew the clock and dominate throughout the game with guys like Ibrahim and Braylon Allen on the roster. The under hits in 4 of the previous 5 games against one another. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Auburn vs. Alabama The 87th Iron Bowl will take place this weekend as host Alabama takes on Auburn on Saturday. For the first time since 2019, Alabama will not be competing in the college football playoffs, but they are still in prime position to earn a New Year's Day bowl appearance with a win here. Meanwhile, Auburn still has an outside shot at a bowl appearance if they could pull off a monumental upset in this game. The Tigers are now being led by former All-America running back Cadillac Williams, who took over for fired head coach Brian Harson. The Iron Bowl is always a notable game on the schedule, regardless of what's at stake for the individual teams. Strangely, there's more on the line for the Auburn Tigers than there is for Alabama this time. Auburn needs a win to become bowl eligible and it would be a huge feather in the cap of interim head coach Cadillac Williams as he makes a push for the full-time job once the season is over. There are just not many scenarios in which the Crimson Tide can make the playoff. They would need losses by pretty much everyone above them in the college football playoff rankings. How much motivation will Nick Saban's team have? How much will Sabin play his starters in a game that ultimately doesn't matter? Here's a few other things to consider, courtesy of Steve Mackinan, since 2015. Home favorites of more than 20 points are 51 to 5 straight up, but just 22 to 34 against the spread in regular season finales. Also, since 2015, when five win teams trying to become bowl eligible face teams with better records in the season finales, they have gone 23 to 32 straight up, but 33 to 21 to 1 against the spread. Finally, last year Auburn gave Alabama all they could handle at Jordan Hare. I'll back a motivated Tigers team, so the Auburn Tigers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Auburn's offense has started to show some signs of life over the past few weeks. They have gone over the total in five of their last six games. Alabama is 4-7 to seven to the over this season and their usually potent offense hasn't scored more than 34 points in five of their last six games. That said, Auburn isn't exactly a team that has the capability to score fast or play that up-tempo game that the Crimson Tide can, so I expect it to be a little slower. The Tigers will use the run game to control the clock and keep Bryce Young and company on the sidelines for as long as they can. Given the size of the line, Alabama would likely need to prevent Auburn from scoring more than 10 to keep this game under and still cover. That's something Alabama has only done against Austin P and Mississippi State since the calendar turned to October. I believe that both these teams can get to the mid-20s rather easily. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.